In this problem, we're given the equations for t of x and told t of x is a linear transformation from r3 to r3. We're asked to determine if the transformation is onto and or one to one. We need to begin by writing the equation in the form of t of vector x equals matrix A times vector x. Once we determine matrix A, we can write matrix A in row echelon form or reduced row echelon form and determine the pivots. If there are pivots in every column, the transformation is one to one. If there are pivots in every row, the transformation is on to. So let's first write this as t of vector x equals, let's write the formulas in a column matrix where the first entry is the first equation of 11x1 plus 10x3. The second entry is the second equation of 2x1 plus 2x3. And the third entry is the third equation of 8x2 plus 8x3. And now let's write this as a product of two matrices where we have the coefficient matrix times the variable matrix as a column matrix, which would be vector x, where the entries are x1, x2, x3. From the first equation, the first row of the coefficient matrix is 11, 0, 10. Notice if we multiply this row by the column matrix, we do get the first equation. From the second equation, the second row is 2, 0, 2. From the third equation, the third row is 0, 8, 8. So now we know that matrix A is the three by three matrix, where the first row again is 11, 0, 10. The second row is 2, 0, 2. And the third row is 0, 8, 8. The next step is to write the matrix in row echelon form or reduced row echelon form. I've already found the reduced row echelon form where the first row is 1, 0, 0. The second row is 0, 1, 0. And the third row is 0, 0, 1. And now we identify the pivots. Notice we have pivots in row one, column one, row two, column two, and row three, column three. Because we have a pivot in every column, we know the transformation is one to one. So we answer yes for one to one. We also have pivots in every row, and therefore the transformation is also onto. We answer yes for onto. Now that we know the transformation is one to one and onto, we know the properties on the left are true, because the transformation is one to one, we also know the properties on the right are true because the transformation is on two. So you may want to pause the video and review these properties. I hope you found this helpful.